guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the place. My name is David and today I am back with some more Nintendo Switch gameplay impressions hands-on. Today on the second day of PAX, I went back to the Nintendo booth and played some more Nintendo Switch games I didn't get to play yesterday. I have now played a bunch of Nintendo Switch games and I have the badges to prove it. Today I played three different Nintendo Switch games, one Snipper Clips, two, one, two, Switch, and three Arms. I'm, this, these are the ones, these are the ones. After you're in line for God knows how long, they only let you play three of the games. It's fine, it's fine. So I thought I would let you know what I think about the games and how my impression and opinion of the console is shaping up in my head the more I play it. First up, I played Snipper Clips, a very fun, interesting puzzle game where you play, at least in the demo that it was shown there, locally with a friend. And it was the first time that I played with the little individual joy controller. The first time I hold it in my hands, I was pretty skeptical. It really felt very, very little, but the thing is the second we started playing, maybe because the controllers weren't very complex for this game, but I really forgot all about the controller while I was playing the game. The game itself was a very interesting, fun puzzle game where you play as some kind of shape, is it a ghost or something? I'm not even sure what it is, but you interact with this other player and together you solve whatever puzzle you have to solve. That It was a very simple, fun game. After that, I played one, two, switch! Sadly, I only got to play three very short games, but the three very short games that I did get to play were loads of fun. The first one I played was at this uh, game where you have to like draw your gun and shoot as fast as you can. Let it be known, I won that game. My reflex are unmatched by anyone I've ever played that game with. You know that that one other person I played with. Anyway, the second game, you pretend to be a milking a cow. <laughs> It was actually pretty fun. The guy I was playing it with didn't really get the grasp of how you should milk a cow properly. I was all over that though. I was a milking expert. It's like I've been doing it my whole life. Obviously, I won that game as well. And the third and final game was a game where you move the controller around your hands as if it were a box with little stones or pebbles or whatever inside them. And you have to guess how many of these little things were inside that box. A game that really showed how almost magical that HD rumble is. I mean, I have no idea how it's done, but you could feel like as if there was something inside the controller. It was very strange but awesome at the same time and I can't wait to see how developers end up using that. That would be very, very interesting. It gives like a customizable texture to the controller. So that's super interesting. Anyway, all of these little games really were designed to show off like the unique aspects of the Nintendo Switch. What's beautiful about all this is that out of the box you get two controllers that are part of the console with all these different functionalities. And I could definitely see how this can lead to very entertaining gaming sessions locally with your friends. And the fact that you can take your uh, Nintendo Switch everywhere you go. I mean, I can't wait to just like, just like, hey guys, I brought my Nintendo Switch and it's not like, like there's a huge console behind you or whatever. You don't even need to connect it to the TV. You just pull out the Joy-Cons, which I, I I guess Nintendo is uh, saying that uh, the plural for Joy-Con is Joy-Con. That's not gonna work, Nintendo. You, you you can't decide those things. The plural for Joy-Con is Joy-Cons, okay? The only thing I worry about uh, something like one to switch is the depth of the game. If there's like 20 to 30 games as interesting as uh, the ones they showed me, forget about it. It's, it's, it's done. It's an amazing game. I'll pay 60 bucks for it. But if it's just like a few more other games then you start to worry about that uh, what is it $40 price tag the thing about these games I played today is that if you put them all together they're like they will make for amazing fun gaming sessions but if each of these games cost 40 or 50 dollars that's a lot of money but we'll wait and see for that the final game I played was arms a game where you hold the two joy cons in both your hands and through different movements of your hands you control the character on the screen and it's a fighter 1v1 and it's one of those games that it would be hard to imagine being as fun in any other console I'm sure they could do it I'm 
I sure it would be fun. It would be fun, but it shows the potential for unique enhanced fun that you can have in the Nintendo Switch that it wouldn't be possible in other consoles. And ARMS, while it looked pretty simple at first, the more I played it, the more I, I got a sense of it and the more you could definitely see how you could develop like different strategies and such. A really fun game which probably had the most depth of the three games I played today. And you know, the game really looked beautiful. I mean, it didn't, it, it, I didn't see it and thought, oh, last gen or whatever. It looked great. And the fact that you can have all that power in this little thing that you can take anywhere with three hours of battery, or if you have that power core, you can extend the battery. Check out the video here somewhere. <laughs> but all of this makes me very excited for the Nintendo Switch. My biggest fear would with that Nintendo Switch is that it all fail. You know, I love Nintendo games. I want them to succeed, but will they be able to properly communicate what the Nintendo Switch is and why it can be so much fun? And will there be games that will entertain you for hours on end? We'll have to wait and see about all that. I think at the moment, the games I'm going to buy at launch are going to be Zelda, Breath of the Wild, of course, and 1, 2, Switch, which I feel are the two games that really will give you an idea of what the Nintendo Switch is capable. An extremely elaborated triple A game epic adventure which is Zelda. And the fact that you can play that on your big screen at home and then take it with you on a plane to another city. And once you get to another city with your friends, with just a Nintendo Switch, the tablet and the Joy-Cons, you can pull down the console, take the controllers, and play something like 1, 2, Switch. I feel like those two titles really show you the range of the Nintendo Switch. I'm really excited to get it. March 3rd, I'm counting down the days, almost there. And I'm super excited because I'll get to try it immediately because a, few, a couple of days later, I'll be flying to New York City and you can bet I will be playing Breath of the Wild on the flight there. And hopefully I can convince people to play 1, 2, Switch with me once I'm there. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. I'm hyped for the Nintendo Switch. I can't wait to get it. If you are interested in the Nintendo Switch, let me know which game do you think is the most interesting to you. Which couple of games, maybe? Because of course there's Zelda, and I mean, Zelda it's like <laughs> the best game he has to offer. But after Zelda, what interests you more on the Nintendo Switch? Let me know in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later.